Hello everyone, my name is Rara Zaizo. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to check out how to unlock an LG G4 bootloader, install a recovery, and update the phone from Android Lollipop to Android Marshmallow the safe way without any errors or boot loops. Warning, this will wipe off all your apps and internal storage, so do your backups. First of all, the prerequisites. At the time of recording this video, you need an LG G4 HA15 EOR or SEA, so European or Southeast Asia. T-Mobile will also work, but there's a slight difference in the steps. You need working ADB and fast boot on your PC. You need a working internet connection. You need a valid email address and to download four files linked in the description down below. System, modem, kernel or boot, and bootloader. So let's start by unlocking the bootloader. Go to the LG link down below. This will lead you to resource center Android and then unlock bootloader in developer.lg.com. Head over to the bottom of the screen and hit start unlocking the bootloader. After that, you'll be greeted with this login screen. If you have an account, just put your user ID here and your password here and hit login. If you don't, then hit register now and go through the registration process. After logging in, you'll be greeted with this screen which is which you need to fill out the device information in. And then after that, you hit confirm to get your unlock.bin file used to unlock your bootloader. So what you want to do is hit this box here and then select LGH815 which includes EOR and SEA currently. You need to fill out here the IMEI of your device. So go to your device, open up the phone app and hit star pound zero six pound and whatever shows up on the screen which is a number uh, you should fill it in this box here. Now make sure your device is plugged in into your PC. Open up a command window here and make sure that ADB recognizes your device by typing ADB devices. If ADB by any chance doesn't recognize your device, it's either you haven't enabled USB debugging on your phone by going through settings about phone and then hitting build number seven times and then going back twice, then going to developer options and enabling USB debugging or there's a problem with your driver for your device so make sure you fix that on your own now that ADB recognizes my device I'm gonna type ADB reboot boot loader so we can unlock this thing so now my phone is booting up to the bootloader currently and it just booted up so now following the device id box here we're gonna type in fastboot oam device id so first of all fastboot devices so we could check if fastboot is recognizing my device and there it is it is the actually recognized by fastboot so fastboot oam device dash id and whatever shows up on the screen here, we're gonna need to mark this section, which is under the device ID here. So this section, right click mark and then select all this and then hit enter. Now you've copied this. So go back to your desktop, make a new text file and paste whatever you copied here with control V. And then what you need to do is backspace this section. So it's all linked all in one block. So let's copy that. Paste it here. And paste the IMEI here. After that hit confirm and you should get a mail from LG giving you the unlock.bin file. One error that I got when hitting the submit button was the service unavailable error. A solution to this was to use a proxy server prior to logging into LG's website. And I've made a small guide on how to do that which is also linked in the description down below. Now that you've downloaded the unlock.bin file from the email you've got from LG's website, Save it in a directory you'd remember, which is a relevant directory here, as you can see. <laughs> Open up a command window here by holding the shift key and then pressing right click. This will give you a new 
entry here which is open command window here so click that and you're already inside this folder on the command prompt so what you need to do is hit fast boot flash unlock unlock.bin as soon as you hit enter your bootloader will be unlocked along with wiping all of your apps and all of your internal storage i've kept my sd card in it my external sd card and it did not get wiped so i can confirm that it only wipes the internal storage so now i'm not gonna execute this command obviously because i've already unlocked my bootloader but what we need to do now is flash a custom recovery so head over to the downloaded recovery image that you've downloaded i've chosen twrp which is at the time of shooting this video the only recovery available for the g4 so I'm going to open up a command window here again and then type in fastboot flash recovery twrp 2.8.7-h815.image. So I've hit TW and then hit tab so it can complete it by on its own. Of course, I've already flashed this, which is which will take about like five seconds to do it. Just hit enter and you'll see some text popping up saying it succeeded. Now the last step you need to do is hit fast boot reboot to reboot the phone back into the OS so now it's booting back up but I'm gonna boot to the home screen you're gonna boot to the setup screen because you've formatted all your data so once you boot to the setup screen set it up as you would like to set up a new device don't skip anything don't do anything because when we upgrade to marshmallow we're not gonna format again so make this setup as thoroughly as you would usually make a, a normal setup so now that we finished the setup go ahead again to settings about phone software info and hit build number seven times until you get the you are a developer now um toast message and then hit back twice go to developer options and enable usb debugging again so now to test again that ADB is recognizing our device, hit ADB devices again, and ADB sees my device. So now what we need to do is boot to the custom recovery we just flashed. So ADB reboot recovery. It's that simple. Hit enter, the phone will turn off, and it will boot back up to TWRP recovery in a second. So there it is. Now we see the team wins flash screen. And now we're booted into TeamWin Recovery Project or TWRP or TWRP Recovery as I like to call it. So now what we need to do is flash system, then modem, then root kernel. And after finishing the flash, we're going to go head over and hit reboot and then hit recovery to reboot back to recovery and then hit install again and install the bootloader and then super su 2.52 or 2.46 or just any super su zip file that's recent now you can reboot normally to your system it'll take a while to optimize all the apps both after unlocking the bootloader and after flashing android 6.0 marshmallow so you're gonna have to wait a lot once you're booted you should have 6.0 along with root access restore all the data you've backed up and congrats you now have an unlocked rooted lg g4 running marshmallow enjoy thank you all for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and learned something new this was rada zaizo on how to unlock root and upgrade to marshmallow safely on the LG G4. Sorry for any background noises and screaming because I'm in a noisy environment here and I'll try to cut down any background noise in post processing. Like this video if you did, share it so everybody knows that we have an unlock for the SEA version of the LG G4. Also subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also more guides coming for the LG G4 along with other guides for other devices. This is Ryo Zaizo again, and I'll see you soon.